it seems aws still believes that generative ai is not going to alter the rendering forms for movies in 2d and 3d visual assets a render form for visual assets in movies is a distributed computing system designed to handle the intensive rendering process required for creating computer generated imagery or cgi and visual effects or vfx in movies it consists of a network of interconnected computers or server managed by specialized software that distributes rendering tasks across available nodes based on their processing capacity render forms significantly accelerate the rendering process by allowing multiple frames or scenes to be rendered simultaneously enabling studios to efficiently produce high quality cgi and vfx within tight production timelines the thing is that these days still a lot of movie studios they either hire or they just uh, offload it to third party uh, providers to do these renderings of 2d and 3d visual assets for their movies it is quite expensive and maintenance and taking care of it is really really hard but with the advent of generative ai that is changing quite rapidly but that is a sub separate subject for another time aws has just released this new service called as aws deadline cloud now name is quite interesting i am still not sure why deadline cloud just because the deadlines for these creation of visual assets is quite tight maybe that is why they have named it but anyway so this is a fully managed service that simplifies render management for teams creating 2d and 3d visual assets for films tv shows commercials games and industrial design deadline cloud makes it easy to build a cloud based render farm in minutes that scales from 0 to thousands of compute instances without needing to manage infrastructure deadline cloud include built-in integration including autodesk arnold autodesk maya foundry nuke luxian keyshot and side effects hodoni and also a broad set of customization tools you can reduce the time required to build integrations with the team's preferred software and tailor your render pipeline to your own needs so it is sort of a platform which enables you to have a cloud based render form and you don't have to build it from scratch or you don't have to rent it from third party and aws says that it will save you a lot of cost too in addition to going to the trouble of hiring and renting these render forms there is definitely a growing demand for high resolution content creative studios industrial design firms and game developers producing cinematic want uh and cinematic uh, sort of assets and all of them want to have more quickly build render forms that combine the power of hundreds or thousands of computing nodes to process their rendering jobs so with deadline cloud you can build a render form using a simplified setup that reduces deployment from months to minutes creative teams also want to improve cost planning visibility and control over rendering resources and projects the deadline cloud cost management capabilities provide the ability to manage render cost and keep budgets on track This deadline cloud is already available in lot of AWS regions including uh, almost all of the US regions including Virginia, Ohio, Oregon. Also it is available in APAC Singapore, Tokyo, Frankfurt in Europe and in Ireland and especially it is available in Asia Pacific Sydney where I am. So let's log into our AWS cloud and then see how can we create a render form. so just click log into your aws cloud once you are in aws cloud just search with aws deadline cloud service and then select it once you will select it you will be presented to this screen and i am in sydney region ap southeast 2 click on setup deadline cloud on the orange button and you will be presented with this screen first step you need to do is to create your deadline cloud setup where you will be able to uh, process your workload monitor the jobs and also manage the cost and everything so just click on next first we need to set up our monitor through which we are going to monitor all the job just give it any name i'm just going to go with my test form and then you can set up additional monitor settings here the role and stuff if you don't do it it is going to select your own default role so i'm just going to go with the default role 
also as you can see it already selected my region and you cannot uh, change the region afterwards so let's click on next here now we need to provide our form detail let's go with my test form um, form that is fine and then you need to create a group because it is expected that you will be working in a group so i'm just going to say my test group is owner i'm just going to give my own email address i'm just going to go with my own name and then let's also create a username you can create as many as users as you want as per your own team additional form setting no need to worry about it it's all about um, some of the roles and stuff i'm just going to go with the default one click on next and then you need to define a queue the queue is where because it's a rendering job it takes time so you would be creating 2d and 3d assets with the tool of your choice like maya and all that stuff and then you'll be putting it in the queue so that is why we need to have the queue and it also creates a s3 bucket for you as you can see it already selected a name and then it also already created a root object there deadline cloud you can uh, select the existing one and then again queue setting with the roles and stuff but i'm just going to go with the default click on next and then you need to uh, define the fleet fleet is simply the number of workers where you can define um, the instances which will be working on it so they are sort of nodes which will be working on all of your assets you can define as many nodes and you want you can even go with spot instances which is uh, very very cost effective and you can save even 90 percent of cost with it you can define your auto scaling group uh, for example how many minimum number you want how many maximum number you want so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to go with one because remember this could get very expensive very soon so be very very careful so instead of I, i'm not going to go with on demand you can select if you want but spot is fine go with number of one you can also give your worker requirement you can update it later on too additional fleet really setting the roles and stuff so let's keep it at default let's click on next and then you'll be presented with all the summary so i'm just going to show you this is the summary and then from here just click on create form and it is going to create the form for you so let's create the form here so ignore that warning it is just permission and it has been the form has been created as you can see here now our queue is ready the status is fine and also you can add more users and groups in your iam if you like and also you can do user management on the left you can go with the quick start if you like and we already have created it you can add more so there are a lot of options here and you can see that from the dashboard you can um, go to your form you can monitor it there are a lot of other details are about your uh, form and then of course you can go and you can do some of the cloud installers like i was mentioning earlier about maya and um, new houdini or whatever your integration is you can simply download it install it here and um, set up your fleet and then of course if you want to delete it just go there actions and delete it if you're not using it because it could get quite expensive so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions or thoughts and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching